This is the Dale Not Dale Podcast, Season 3. <sighs> what it do, Bonnie? What it do? Hey, man. You know what the saying is? Nope. New year, new us. It's definitely a new year, <laughs> not a new us. Same no. us. Uh, new year. No, nah, no, nah, I'm new. I have been reborn. No, no. I'm wearing overalls, dude. Dude, you haven't done anything different in your life Are this you year me? than you did last year. I had a mustache this year. But that doesn't change you. That changes your appearance. Well, I'm changed man. <laughs> what's what's changed? A lot. It's a new year, so I just got a new birth. I like, I'm like a rising from the ashes, like a phoenix. <laughs> okay. So what is this new you comprised of? You'll see this new year. Now, see, that scares me because I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what that means. Uh, I don't know. Twenty twenty four is here, folks. It is new year, new Vaughn. I love it. Uh, Same Vaughn. Max is laughing. Same Vaughn. So we had a great year, dude. We did twenty twenty three. Max, you started with us right after the start of twenty three, right? Yeah, I think it was the tail end of January. Or the tail end of December, right? Yeah. 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 So we had a full, we call it the year of the Magnus. You know, the year of the rat was the year of the Magnus. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> He's just as dirty. Hell yeah. Year of the Magnus. <laughs> year of the Magnus. Well, I got the haircut for it now. Dude. You do. You got a rat tail. Dude, he is dirty. Hey, so this is, this is Magnus. Oh, God. So, one, more I get to know you, more I realize you're such a child. We go to dinner at night. We go to leave. Vaughn grabs his to-go drink of Magnus had. He had three straws. Three straws in the cup. Okay, mind you. I get, eight-year-olds do that. I get it. Mind you, this is a to-go cup that he drank and did not take it to go. Did we get good service that night? Or did they have to comp a bunch of stuff? Because... I was waiting on refills for a long time. <laughs> well, yeah, you drink the three straws, dude, like a jackass. It does drink a little quicker with three. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. It does drink a little quicker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It does drink a little quicker. Yeah, you think? Uh, I mean, do you do you think maybe that uh, you could just use one straw, though? Nah. Maybe I mean, one McDonald's straw, yeah. But the straws at restaurants are little. So three. Mm. I did two, and I was like, well, I don't, what am I going to do with this other straw? <clears throat> I might as well put it in there. I mean, I didn't have a straw the whole night, so that's where the straws went. It reminds me how many drinks I've had. I would, I would almost think that the same amount out of three straws, it's not no, is probably going to be the same as one. No, it ain't. Do you, I work in I work in fluid movement? It makes a difference. Okay, more All volume. Right. All right, fluid movement. I got a I got <laughs> it's, I got a quiz for you. If you turn on your water hose at your house, okay, the standard water hose pressure is like, whatever, 90 PSI, okay, and you put that in your pool, uh -huh. if you take another water hose from another house, fr from your own house, no, another spigot, and you put that in your pool, does it's your pool, different when you're sucking. Does your pool, I, I don't think so because it's still just negative, it's negative pressure. Uh huh? It would still be negative pressure because it, it doesn't, it, you know, the difference between you need more, volume. you need more pressure, sucking pressure, but you would fill up a bucket with three hoses into it going not quicker from, than one, not from the same house. It wouldn't happen because all you're doing is splitting PSI. So if a standard faucet is 90 PSI and you put on two, you're Gall doing 45 and 45 gallons per minute is different than pounds per square inch. So I would assume <clears throat> that you sucking on three straws, you're still the same sucking power. No, magnets can suck like the best of them. I mean, it may be a higher PSI, <laughs> but you're still splitting it over three circumferences. All right, we're going to... I'm calling Mythbusters, fuck it. Dude, I'm telling you. Dude, we're going to... No, we're, we're literally going to do this experiment on YouTube. Uh, I mean... Magnus, we're going to get three straws. Two cups. You're going to suck them all. You're going to suck them off, all of them. <laughs> Just <laughs> gonna get a throat ball. Oh, so hey, so then I show up this morning. You know, we say, "Hey, show up ten o'clock." I pull up. I get out of my car. I hear a freaking booming. Oh, he opens the door. He's got freaking DMX blaring Dude. in the neighborhood. 
Flesh of my flesh. <laughs> Dude, arr, arr. he pulled up. He pulled up, and I'm just like, what in God's name? A 43-year-old man. 41. 41. Are you only 41? Yeah. You look 43. Thank you. Just blaring DMX, dude, in, in the neighborhood. Like, do you, have you seen my neighbors? They're brittle. <laughs> they're brittle. Dude, they're all brittle. <laughs> I uh, did. The, uh, there was a lot of blinds opening up. I, I guarantee it. I mean, I mean, <laughs> Bessie down the street. She's she gardens on this day. She does. Yeah, and here dude. you are, bl- blaring DMX for her cabbage. Hey, she's gonna give it to you. She's gonna give it to you. <laughs> got that dog. Arr, arr. Got, got that, that dog in him. Got that dog. Got that dog. Get him. I was sitting there thinking to myself, how old was DMX whenever he wrote this song? He sounds like a 40-year-old man, but he was like 23. Well, he's rest in peace. R.I.P. R.I.P. DMX. Did we, we lost people this year. We did, man. We did. We did. Uh, probably, we've been doing this. This is our second season, and we've had two. We've had a guest pass away from each season. Yes. We've had Jerry Springer, yeah. R.I.P. Jerry. And the late great Donnie Baker. Man, oh man, that was that was, that was crazy. That was a tough one, man. That was a tough one. Moment of silence. Moment of silence for uh, for Donnie. Yeah, way too young. Uh, golly, man. Yeah, what a year. This has been a it's been a heck of a year. So our plan today was, you know, you listen to a lot of podcasts. Some have their best of show at the end of the year then you know the kickoff new year we're like well we're gonna just do it all in one we're gonna we're gonna recap some of our favorite moments guests things like that from 2023 talk about new 2024 stuff if you listen to this episode now by now you've seen the new artwork for the podcast on social media yeah uh we do have a new intro song that will be played at some point yeah. for you. Uh, so we're excited for that. We're going to have a new, we have a new intro song. Um, uh, not going to give it away, but we have that. So we, you know, we, we try to do things bigger and better each year. Yes. So I think this artwork this year is one of the best. Dude, Adam crushed it <clears throat> every year. He absolutely crushed it. Yeah. He gets it better every year. <laughs> so Adam, my brother-in-law, everybody knows, he, uh, you know, he's he's a genius when it comes to editing and picture taking and things like that. So we had him, as he's done the first two seasons, make our season three. With the addition of Magnus in the show, we've added a third person to our movie cover title. Yeah, we did. And it came out stupendous. Like when I sent to Magnus, he's that's the most beautiful thing he's ever seen. Yeah, that's my favorite movie of all time. <laughs> in fact, I watched it twice this week. Really? Yeah. I need to watch it again. But so I need to watch it once. Yeah. Great movie. The movie artwork cover looks incredible. Uh Vaughn, you look tough, dude. I'm not gonna lie, you look tough in that picture. Dude, I've I channeled my inner mob. Yeah. Well you just gave it away. They've already N- seen it by now. N- they've already seen it. I forgot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is season three of the pod fellas. Yes. It's our spin on uh Good Fellas, which Vaughn has never seen. So he needs a... Uh, we're gonna movie night soon. We got like eight movies picked out. We're gonna be, gonna be like a lock in. Yeah, it's not gonna be. <laughs> Speaking of movies, man, I'm gonna tell you what. You know what I watched last night? He's gonna talk about it. I don't know. This movie called Saltburn. Yeah. Which I guess hit TikTok and made a big th- big splash, and I was forced to watch it. What's it about? It, yeah. It was like a psychological about thriller a, or something. It's supposed to be, but it's. it's it, it is the weirdest. T- they try to like do, like you know, one of those like foreshadowing or, or like you know they they try to at the end they bring they bring in that this was all a plan. It was kind of like a Shutter Island a little bit. Okay. And let me tell you, there's some parts in there that <clears throat> made me cringe so incredibly much. Um, now, I thought it was. A awful movie. Really? I thought it was I thought it was horribly laid out. 
and it was just some of the parts were like, oh, that's unneeded. Okay. That is well, I'm not, so I'm not going to watch it, so I'll take your is word. Is it kind of like that human centipede? Like, why did they even need to make this movie kind of a thing? I don't, I'm not watching it either. <laughs> I don't even know what a human centipede is. I do. And if it's anything like that in the movie, it's going to be disgusting. Happy New Year, everybody. Vaughn, guess what? What? New Year, new meat. New Year, new meat. New Year, new meat, dude. Good ranchers. No. It's like I say, New Year, new me. Yeah. New Year, new meat. It's the same meat, though. No, it's new meat. It's new meat? New meat. Okay. <laughs> Tell like, me about it. Well, you know, Good Ranchers, American Meat Delivered, <laughs> our great sponsor of the Del Nodo podcast. Uh, they are taking the ick out of chicken. I see what you did there. Yeah. You know why? One, Ben, the owner. Yeah. He don't really touch chicken. So he has made it to where they are triple trimmed their chicken breast. Chefs trimmed well, chicken chicken breast is yeah, what you're telling me? Because it comes like it comes ready to go. You cut the package and you ain't gotta trim it, you ain't gotta cut any fat off, anything extra. You ain't gotta touch the slime. You ain't gotta touch it. I'm the that's, same way. That's taking the ick out of chicken. I don't want salmonella on my fingers. I don't either. I want it in my belly. Yeah. Uh, no, make sure you cook your good ranch chicken long enough so you don't get salmonella. Yeah. Uh, so no, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but hey, take the ick out of chicken. The cool thing is right now, use our code at GoodRanch.com, DND Pod. It gets you twenty dollars off your box plus free chicken. Free chicken. They're always giving free chicken away. One hundred eighty nine dollar value. I don't know how they do it. They give they so much it. free stuff away. I don't know. I don't. How did they, did they even make money? But hey, being that Ben is such a stickler for not touching chicken, he's passed that along to you guys to where it makes meal prep easy. Take the ick out of chicken. That's the big thing right now. Yeah. It's a big movement, twenty twenty four. You got to put some prep in your step. New year, new meat. Yeah, put, dude. I like that. <laughs> put some prep in your step, dude. For all those people that want a meal prep of, for uh, the new year, dude. The best thing, but like, if you, yeah, I don't want to touch chicken. No, me I don't neither. mind it. Like, I've actually been using gloves when I touch meat, and now with good ranch meat, I can just clip the bag, slide it out, drop it in. Yeah, it's easy. Put some prep in my step. Put some prep in your step. Yep. So go to goodrecher.com. Use our code DNDPod. Take advantage of $20 off your first box. Get the $189 value of free chicken for a year. And, uh, man, like, if you want good meat, go to American. Get get American meat delivered to your house from goodrecher.com. Yeah. And don't be don't be chicken. Don't be a don't be a chicken. It's just chicken. Don't be a chicken, dude. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Really? Oh, yeah. New year, new meat by Good Ranchers. Peace. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> well, I will tell you, there are some parts in that movie that I that made me literally crawl out of just really? crawl out of my own skin, and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna watch that. Yeah. So uh, Magnus will watch it. He's a weirdo. No, he will. He'll like it. Yeah, Magnus probably will like it. But you know, at the end, like at the end of movies, like whenever you see like um, uh, usual suspects. Yeah. Okay. So when Kevin Spacey at the end starts walking normal, like you're like, oh my god, that totally, that's freaking nuts. So that's one of my my favorite movies of all time. Hence your this, son's name. This movie tried. To do that, but right whenever they transferred over to show, it was like, guys, did y'all not see that coming? Of course that's what happened. Uh, okay. And it was just like, damn, what a letdown. You know, the bad thing is, this movie would have never got any credit, but TikTok, somebody on TikTok decided to make it a thing. Yeah. And it's going to be the biggest thing ever. And there's these, there's only... I mean, good for the people that made it, because... There's literally, there's two parts in that movie, why why it's gotten famous in TikTok, which I'm going to let everybody find that out on their own, because okay. I can't even talk about it, it's going to make me puke. There's only two parts. Both of those parts are probably two minutes long. Okay. And I'm going to tell you, it is the most uncomfortable... <laughs> Thing I've ever been a part of in my entire life where I had to take a shower <laughs> afterwards because I felt gross. You got to wear a condom when you watch that movie? Oh, dude, you need, I mean, you need a, you, you need a, like an acid suit. I mean, oh, it is. Oh, God. Golly. Oh, man. Anyway. I digress. I digress. So, yes. Big year. We're excited to talk about it. We're going to... Uh, are we gonna play the intro music now? We're gonna wait. We're gonna we're gonna just just roll with the episode, dude. I think we're gonna roll with the episode. Okay, so hey, we have to tweak some of that audio a little bit. You know? <clears throat> okay, so also it's been a full year of Good Ranchers. 
Yes. Good match. We we joined them. They joined us early on, beginning of this year. It's been a been a big year. Uh hope you guys seen our Good Rancher Space Ranchers Christmas party videos that uh, Magnus put together for us. Good job on that, by the way. That was good. They Thank yeah, you. they they enjoyed it. That was good. Uh but we had their Christmas party, which is like I said, man, we they've welcomed us in as family. Good Rancher has been awesome to us. So make sure to still support them. Goodrancher.com, use our code D Pod. Uh I don't even know what kind of special they got going on right now. It's, it's always something. I'm, I'm, I know they're gonna have some bunch of New Year New Year specials that are gonna be I outlandish. Can, I guarantee you, if I check my email right now, we'll have a special. I guarantee you. They they are the spe- they're special special people. I think it was like something with chicken. I think I say I saw an email like that. But yeah, so goodrich.com, user code DND Pod. Continue continue to support them. Uh hope to have another big year with them. Uh we may have an Easter egg of Good Ranchers in our uh, intro music, you know. Yeah. Maybe so. What's up, Bob? I just brought up their website, New Year New Meat. There you go. New Year New Meat. <laughs> I think they've been listening to the pod. It's the same meat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, they, they got new meat. But it's in a new year. No, so they, got, they got new meat for this year. Was it Younger yeah, they Cows? Well, they got a burger box now. They've it's had just, that. They've had that. But. Oh, they've been advertising a lot more. But. Well, they're just trying to get some ground meat, yeah, boy. New Year, Dude, new, tell new you Year, what, new meat. Though, that burger box is phenomenal. Yeah, I like their ground meat. Their ground meat is really good. Uh, oh, man. I love food. Yeah, I could, we could have got a better sponsor than a food sponsor. <laughs> no, we couldn't. <laughs> it's, it's definitely on brand. It's good. Y'all love to grill. Yeah. 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 But Magnus loves meat on his grill. Yeah, he does. Dude. He likes that duck meat. Hey, I'm gonna get a grill made. You want one? If I get one, sure. All right. Let me get like Magnus, dude. Like, like Magnus spelled out across the top row. It'll say Magnums only in here. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I have a friend of mine who has a tattoo on the inside of his lip. Really? It, and it says "Sit here." Oh, nice. I'm not going to say who he is because he's probably embarrassed about it. I'd hate for Anthony to find that out. Oh, of course. <laughs> it's definitely not him. It's definitely <laughs> not him. I'm sure all the all the girls in the Clear Lake bars have probably seen it. Well, his wife. <laughs> his wife. <laughs> uh, all right. So, okay. Hey, also, we've started. We, we, we're super fresh, which I guess is kind of a pun. Super fresh into our new partnership with Yo Pretty Boy. Mm-hmm. Pretty, Pretty Boy. Boy. This episode is brought to you by Pretty, Pretty Boy. Boy. Uh, dude, what is your plans for New Year's resolution? Dude, I'm not one for New Year's resolutions, and the reason why is because most of the time people make a New Year's resolution to like get all fit and, and you know start eating healthy, and not a single person cares about their face. I do. So now, if you use Pretty Boy Revival, you'll be working on your face for your New Year resolution. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Why not? Like, dude, you can't go, like, unless you're, uh, I don't know what kind of profession you'll be in. Like a lifeguard? Lifeguard? Yeah. Somebody wearing a mask all day? Unless you're wearing a mask all day, everybody's going to see your ugly face. Yeah. So you might as well make it look good with Revival from Pretty Boy. Exactly. And nine times out of ten, people that get their bodies in shape, they just walk into the office and it's covered up by a shirt, but everybody's got to see your ugly ass face. Dude, you ain't lying. So you need to take care of your face because that's what I got to look at. I don't care about your pecs. Your, I don't care about your your lats. Dude, I, I care about people's... Uh, but an ugly face will really ruin my day. Yeah, I want to look at people's faces. Because, hey, when somebody's got nice skin, you notice. Oh, yeah. It's like, the, it's like you know, when, when women have the pregnant glow, now men can have the pregnant glow. Oh, dude. Hey, so get yourself a revival from Yo Pretty Boy and get yourself a pregnant glow on your face. <laughs> Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> yeah. These comments were not FDA approved. <laughs> they were not. <laughs> so go to yo pretty boy dot com and use our code DND Pod fifteen at checkout. Pretty, pretty boy. boy. So yo pretty boy, we actually got a new segment. We kind of uh, we just really we literally just came up with this idea uh, on a call the other day, and we're gonna do a segment for yo pretty boy. So you'll hear that you'll hear that later in the episode. We have some ideas for this. Uh, so we're excited about this new partnership. Like I said, man, we're these guys are on brand. We love the face product. Uh, Vaughn's face still looking 
silky smooth. Hell yeah. Uh, I love this. I love the revival. It's great stuff. Uh, I got to get Magnus some so we can get him looking right. Especially because we're going to be doing a makeover on him soon. You ready, Magnus? I'm ready. Yeah, I've so, noticed I, I, I really could use the product. So if y'all could, we got hand, you. Hand I got you. Yeah. So they sent us some merch, but I got to get some product for, for, for the Magnus. Uh, but yeah, yo pretty boy, go to yo pretty boy.com. Use our code DD pod 15. Get you a discount at checkout. Uh, they've got some special going on right now, too. But like I said, I'm excited to see what we're going to do with them, guys. Yeah. Hopefully, we can. I need to talk to them. Maybe we can do some stuff with them like we do with Good Ranchers. Uh, I don't know what they get into, but. It'd be cool to do some kind of hang out with Ben and Kevin. Yeah. Do something with them guys. No, that'd be cool. Shoot some content. Uh, or go visit them. I'm not sure where they're at exactly. I know they're from Ohio, but I don't know where they live now currently. But uh, we'll do that. So the D&D pod 2023 wrap is uh, we're about to start that up, man. It's so going to happen right now. I told the guys, let's let's have some top three, top three like guest moments. Yeah. Uh, things from the year. We'll kind of kind of recap those. Talk about some of the fun stuff. Because man, I was like, when I was making the end of the year video, like I was saying, I was like, man, we had a bunch of guests on this year. Yeah. And we had some cool ass people. We did. Narrowing it down to three is really hard, though. Yeah, I mean, like I said, dude, it, it's not about not leaving like, leaving people out or whatever. It's just one of those things where it's all subjective. Uh, I mean, we could even go by most views or whatever. It doesn't matter. But it's more like. Some of the fun moments I had. Uh, Magnus, you want to start? Sure. Um, I think one of my favorite moments, we were talking about this, is uh, Nick Morrison's story about his brother (laughs) running over him in a wheelchair. (laughs) Dude, it's so epic. It's such a great visual. (laughs) It is. And there were so many people like in the comments. Did y'all remember like the people were like mad that he told that story? It's like, that's his brother. Yeah. He can tell a story. Dude. And and he's a comedian also. Like you said, at the end of the day, it's just jokes. It's just... And trust me, you do a lot worse and say a lot worse to people, and you're not a comedian. I can guarantee you that. If you're openly making fun of your brother like that, that means you got a good relationship with him. Oh, there's no kidding. Yeah. I wish I had a brother in wheelchair. I'm I'm ripping. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, stand up, say it in my face. (laughs) No, <laughs> no, but like, yeah, the story. I'm take you to the top of the hill, Mike. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, but like I said, man, Nick's a funny guy. Yeah, you can imagine he's, you know, most people that are comedians have been funny their whole life, and they decided to turn that into something, which he has. So you can imagine the humor in their household, and then what do you? I mean, like I said, it, it ain't the end of the world. Hey, it sucks for his brother-in-law. I mean, it sucks for his brother to be paralyzed in, yeah. in a wheelchair. Unfortunate, because when guys are riding bulls, that's the risk you take. Yeah. <clears throat> but those are a different breed of people too. That, that, that guy's probably got no feelings. Yeah, I guarantee it. <laughs> I, I mean, mean, those are real men. Dude. Yeah, bull riders are tough. I mean, that's tough. That's I mean, another level of guy. It's ripped them both to shreds. I mean, yeah. Quite honestly. Yeah. I mean, that is a Nick can't even bend over up passing out. That's a sport. <laughs> that's a sport that I would. I mean, you. There's boxers. But I guarantee you, bull riders are beat a lot more than boxers. Yeah. Well, dude, a boxer, I mean, those are more, uh, I guess it'd be more chronic injury, like over time. Yeah. A bo- a, like you would say, a bull rider would be more acute. I mean, literally, they could, lo- they could lose their life at in any given in moment. In a second. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, my cousin's paralyzed from really? bull riding. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Just like, like, dude, just I, like I, I just, brother. that's a... That's a hell of a deal to want to do. I mean, you got to be a different kind of person to do that. But you got to be a risk taker. That's for sure. Nick Morrison. Uh, yeah, that was a fun episode, man. I, I was a really good time having him in. Yeah, it was. What very, you got, Magnus? Very another, good. another one of my other favorite ones was Draculino, and not only him, just he had such cool conversations, cool stories, like with the Gracies, but going to see Vaughn gassed out. <laughs> Where everybody's bowing and he's like sitting down, oh, yeah. was, about to die. You're so oh, disrespectful. That's so hilarious. <laughs> you could tell he was like, "Oh man, I should be standing up right now." He didn't clip that part in. <laughs> Don't, <Huh? laughs> dude. I I did love the Drucklin episode just because, dude. One, we didn't know we we're getting ourselves into. No, and he was awesome. No, he was. He was great. That was that guy had some of the best stories. But like, you know, since then I I did jujitsu for a few months with him. And then, like, I'd have people message me, like, dude, you have no idea, like, the honor you had, like, the, 
the, how lucky you are yeah. to be taught by one of the best in the world. Like it, he's right yeah. here in League City. Yeah, his presence is. I have. He's well respected. Speaking of their new place, just open. Oh man, I, I want to go see it. We need to go see it. Yeah, we do. Uh, so he just, they literally just opened it. I, I haven't been there in a few months, and it's just been crazy trying to get in there. But I do need to go check it out. Maybe it's something we follow up with him on, just to yeah. go show the new thing and do something fun. Uh, but yeah, man, like I said, he, Jocelyn was. Man, I tell you what, I'm glad he became a friend. The guy's super awesome. Yeah. His staff, dude. So his staff, he's got uh, this couple. Uh, I'm gonna butcher their names. Lucas and Andressa. He talked about them on the sh- yeah. sh- on the show. They're a married couple, <laughs> younger couple. They're married. There's some of his professors as well black belts underneath him and they just won the nogi world championships in their classes on andressa she's multiple she's like five times like she's something crazy like that is she and she looks so nice yeah no she'll rip your head off and she will well you wrestled with her husband and he's so docile and i almost <laughs> i almost beat him you almost had him i almost had him I, well i think you prepared him for the worlds i did I did. I mean, without me, I mean, yeah. I mean, there's a little bit. I, he did. He did shout my name out. He said it in Portuguese, but um, yeah, it's yeah. I was honored to help him with that. No, but that's that's a, just another thing. Like, I have buddies that still train there. Like, dude, we're getting trained by some of the world's best. Yeah. In little league, I mean, I, I say little, but League City, Texas, of all places, and you got all these freaking badass Brazilians. Like, they're yeah. they're from they're actual Brazilians. Yep. And uh. It's just crazy. It's crazy that they, that that's here. Yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah, great dude. Super cool, man. He was very welcoming and like I don't know. He's a great teacher. Yeah. What you got, Mag? <clears throat> I think just overall, just the involvement of Good Ranchers, like just meeting Ben. He's such a patriot, and Jermango's stories were great. And then the <laughs> Christmas party. So it wasn't just one thing, but um, I love Good Ranchers and the yeah the T bones and yeah the ribeyes. Good Richards, they've been awesome to us, man. Yeah, yeah they really have. And the great stories. I mean, ben, I didn't get to go to Indy and all the races, but ben, but it's cool being involved with, with Good Ranchers. Ben and Jermaine, Corley, Erica, their whole group, man. Uh, hell, I think I tagged. I could tag up to 20 people on that Good Rancher thing. I tagged all 20. I think everyone that I'm connected to, I was able to tag. Yeah. Uh, but, man, we've made so many good friends over there. Uh they're big supportive of our, which is which is awesome. So we can't we couldn't ask for a better sponsorship. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people that are stuck on you know subscription stuff. Like it's not you know it's not what it is. But you know, outside of how delicious their meat is, which it is, and I'll stand by that. The other stuff that comes along with a subscription to Good Ranchers is priceless. I mean, how many would they say they fed 150,000 families yeah. this year alone? Yeah, they donate They donate meat for every box sell, too. They donate a box of meat. Like, they donate a meat a certain way to yeah. food banks and families. It's pretty cool, man. Like, And they're just good people. I mean, they, I their mean, employees are happier than hell. That's that's yeah, they you see you see that night the culture of that company is unreal and i love that that competition where they had like the four <laughs> houses dude i think it's that's, great yeah yeah that's great dude, the, this yeah. this i mean you can imagine we had steve on and steve, steve is wild steve i'm so mad i missed that one I steve's a part day. of that that whole that that marketing the craziness of that company the marketing is was so genius behind it and he's a big part of that him oh, and his yeah. team but them putting those names to it like they have a story behind yes. each 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 <laughs> Each poultry, like there, there's a there's a poultry, there's a beef, there's a fish, and then the uh, pork. Yeah. And they had each family, so there's like four <laughs> big teams within Good Ranchers, and they compete all year round. They were houses, right? Yeah. yeah the, the video <laughs> is so awesome, dude. I mean, it's the so depth, ela- the it's, depth of that story it's is so crazy. elaborate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> dude, it's it's phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, no, so man, those those are definitely some some great moments. Uh, I have. So, we'll probably have a few of the same, but one of my favorite guests of this year, which I feel like was one of a, a big get just because of how cool he was, was uh, Rampage. Yeah. Rampage was a big get. It's big enough to where people are like, holy shit. Yeah. You got a Rampage. And my favorite thing was him when I, when I asked him his weight, and he told me, mind my effing business. <laughs> 
I was like, mind your business, mom. For, for me to get that response from him, like that sound bite towards me, like that's that's beautiful. <laughs> that is. It was. It was epic. He meant it out of love. He did. Oh, absolutely. But dude, imagine how like it was fun because I could kind of troll him because he wasn't here to like snap my neck. <laughs> But I would do the same thing in person until he I, comes at me to like, I'm sorry, I'm just joking, joking, joking. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> too late. Yeah. <laughs> Them guys don't play like that, though. But I think he, I don't know. I think he probably knows. No, he, dude, he, he's got thick skin, but yeah, he's, he's got a great sense of humor. But he's got a great sense of humor yeah. and he's funny. And he took our show from being a PG 13 show to the next level. <laughs> That's for sure. There's literally, we, we were always trying to toe the line, like, we wouldn't say much, and then he just blew the door. Like, all right, man, fuck it, we're gonna we're gonna roll with <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, this no. is rampage world now. Yeah, he, he definitely he, spun us a little. He created yeah. this monster, and I we mean, still had to trim stuff out of that episode. I mean, we would have had to have completely just not ran the episode to not t- toe the line of. Yeah, I was like, dude, we're just gonna we got to run it. Just rampage, got to run it. So at that know, point, people know rampage. You know what you're gonna get. Yep. Rampage steered us in a different way. And he direction. don't give a shit, so watch it. No, he doesn't. He, he doesn't, doesn't care about anything. No. Uh, and then, so my uh, next one, which I feel like I got the most people that would come to me like, holy crap, you got him, was uh, Austin Eckler. Yeah. One, yeah. if you're anything of a football fan, you know Austin Eckler. Two, if you're not a football fan, if you listen to this guy, you will be a fan of him. His, the motivational side of what he does his work ethic and what made him what he is today. Because uh, the guy didn't have an easy road. He wasn't a Derrick Henry size back that yeah. was the biggest guy that was fast and would run through people and played for Alabama. This dude just was from Colorado. Yeah, tiny little town in Colorado. Tiny town in Colorado. Went to a small school, worked his way up, got on a practice squad, Became a special teams guy, then finally got to do it running back, and he was a top running back the last few years. I mean, like, yeah, that's a big deal. And so, having him was really cool. I mean, so much. I mean, you, you knew we're, we're pumped up like the motivational side. You said you've actually shared that with your sales guys. Like, yeah, the the guy is going to have a hell of a career past football. Yeah, but he needs to get all his due because he is a great back. Uh, Chargers had a rough year this year. Their coaching staff was freaking atrocious. Yeah, the Chargers that, are awful. That is, that's the that's the one that Jim Harbaugh said. They said Jim Harbaugh went there if he had Herbert in that team. Yeah, that team was too damn good to not be a contender every year. I know it. they got studs. Keenan Allen. I mean, they got some freaking studs there. Herbert getting hurt probably didn't help. That didn't help. <clears throat> but dude, that's just a that team is unreal, man. Yeah. No, they got a lot of talent there. No, that was that was definitely a memorable one. Uh, probably my other favorite man. One of this, I, I know it's gonna be yours, so I'm gonna leave this one for you. Probably was uh, probably with with our boy fit to serve. That was gonna be. That was one of mine. Really? Yeah. That's okay. Okay. Well, that uh, that other big one I thought would have been yours. Yeah. Uh, fit to serve was just fun it's like i wish so i he, he our last reel we did oh he he messaged me a while back he said man i love y'all's what's your beef thing y'all are doing he yeah. goes, i can't wait i said we'll come to houston and we'll do one in person he's like after the first year i'm coming to houston we're gonna do an in-person in-po- in person podcast and we'll take him to galveston and that'll be some funny <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're just gonna drive him there yeah we're gonna blind, there. we're gonna blindfold him and just show up like we're here. He, Welcome like, to Galveston. He's, got, he's gonna be the king of Galveston. Dude, Welcome to Galveston, is. baby. Welcome to Galveston, baby. Dude, but that one. Well, okay. So I was. I've been following for a while. We would talk, and I love his his content. His stuff is always. You know, some people their stuff just kind of gets played out, or you yeah. kind of get over it. Yeah. I got a few people that I haven't got on the podcast. I used to really like, and they've just got too much. Evan kills it every 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 video. Yeah. And then the guy's so relevant. He's in so many things now, and we actually in collab in a few different. We're in a few different things together now. Uh, but man, he he was more fun than I would ever expect. Like I knew he's gonna be fun time. Yeah. But he was 
fun. Dude, the most memorable part of his episode was whenever you tried to sell the military to me. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I'm seriously, I, I was sitting there thinking like, you Bought know what? That night. I am, I am going to enlist. This guy just <laughs> sold me the military. I mean, of course I'd get cut right on the bus to boot camp, but. He'd be a great, he'd be a great recruiter. Dude, he, he, he is. He's a great recruiter. I mean. My, my favorite thing too, when we did his, uh, we did his doppelganger. And we stand at Camp Russell Crowe, and he's like, was it the fat Russell Crowe or is it the skinny Russell Crowe? Yeah. Yeah. That shit, I lost it. <laughs> and then when I said, no, your other one was John Candy, and he died. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so clearly it meant the fat Russell Crowe. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Didn't he get, didn't he get Danny McBride, too? Uh, no, that was uh, Morrison. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think that was that was him, but Fit to Serve was so damn funny, bro. Golly, that was a, that was a hoot, man. <laughs> so we're gonna do something in person with this year. So, like I told him, I said, "Man, may I get him to come to the CrossFit gym? We could do all kind of stuff with him. It could be fun. Like get some content with him. That'd be Vaughn do his first CrossFit workout. Nope, you, dude, you could probably beat him. I'm not gonna do CrossFit. You're going to. It's He's New Year, New you. New Year, New Meat. Hey, Magnus, what are your thoughts on uh, doing a little uh, gym action, partnering up with me? You know, I'm down. Let's go. Okay. Dude, y'all gonna get swole? Y'all gonna be swole mates? Yeah. Hell yeah. I, think, I just gotta get him to eat better. Dude, he drinks. He drinks out three straws. He gets triple the it's calorie intake. <laughs> well, if Delta Blues offered Coke Zero, I wouldn't have added all them empty calories. They didn't have it. No. Damn it. Could have drank Diet Coke. I don't like no. the flavor. Whatever. So that's about my top three guests. Vaughn, let's go. So, uh, fit to serve was one of my top three guests. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pivot a little here. Um, I, I I gotta give it. Just this is a selfish a selfish thing. I gotta give it to Donnie Baker. Yep, that's, that was one I had him. I was like, yeah, so, R.I.P. So one of my one of my most uh, one of the things about that that people didn't realize is how hard, that was hard. it is to interview a character. And it and it hit me square in the face right when we started, and I was like, "This is gonna be tough. How do you ask a character? How do you? I mean, that was it was it was tough to do. Um, that was, that was the it was hard because you did like all we could do was just ask him random shit and get yeah. his take on it. Yeah, and let him rant. Yeah, and then he just <laughs> spouted off, and it's like, wow. Dude, the pitching clock. The pitch rant clock. Was it's like having MP3 epic. on here. Yeah. He's a character. Yes. You, you, like, you, don't, you just got to let him go. Dude, yes. Um, Donnie, no, was Donnie like, Baker was. I remember, So, Donnie Baker was one of the probably the first person, like, first people. I'm like, I was like, all right, Vaughn, guess what? I got X guest coming on, and he freaked out. Like, that was the most. That was the most one that you were like couldn't believe. Dude, I was yeah. I, I had been watching him for years, yeah. and just everything he does is just hilarious. The character that he puts on is just it's phenomenal. Yeah, you were you were that was besides like Dod. Yeah, that was a that was the other one that as far as the as far as the biggest guest you felt like you were pumped up for. Yeah. Donnie Baker was cool. And to, to lose him the same year, man, it's kind of, kind of crazy. I remember yeah. seeing the message. I was like, holy crap, man. Yeah, it's, poor, it's crazy. Poor dude, man. Beautiful family, too. Good. Yeah. Suck for him. Um, Another one. Got to gotta keep it home on this one is Alex Bregman. Bregman was awesome, man. <clears throat> we manifested that one. Manifested it. And, what, and I think another thing that people didn't realize is – we interviewed him in a time where he was extremely busy. Yeah. He could have done a million other things, but he committed and he did it. And, you know, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe in the middle of the podcast, he had the to end. He, or yeah. in that, in the end, he had to get in his vehicle. Yeah. We had and, to finish it on the speakerphone. <laughs> yeah, he had to get in his vehicle so that he could go to batting practice. Like he that was that was the weekend before he was leaving for spring training. Yeah, so, so you can imagine there's a lot of loose ends you're tying up. You yeah. got family. I mean, there's a lot of things, and he gave us an hour of his time, which was awesome. Yeah, no, that was uh, definitely appreciative of that one. Um, loved it, loved it absolutely much, so much. Um, man, there's so many of them. Um, Dod King, man, 
Duty. That was one. I, that was one another one. I wanted for a long time. Literally, that was nine, ten months in the making. Yeah. From me and him talking about it to it actually happening. Yeah. And I think the coolest thing about that was like we're like the second one he ever done, and he's big. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. He's so big. he. We got him, which was cool. Yeah, you know, and I think you know a lot of people. You don't have to love golf to love Carter, the Dod King. Um, he actually has a really good message of stop giving a crap about what other people think of you. Yeah, quit being a weasel. You know, I, you know, I, I thoroughly enjoyed talking to him, and uh, well, you got to respect the confidence of those kind of guys. Yeah, and I don't feel like it's an act. I don't either. That's why he's such a small, like a young Portnoy, because Portnoy, the dude's a billionaire, yeah. or damn near, and he's he's done it by being himself and like going after it. And like yep. I said, I think Dod's like it, he's the same. I mean, for being that young and to riff like him, like I would love to be compared to Dave Portnoy because the dude's a genius. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's not for everybody. You're gonna love him or hate him, but okay. I think that's what Dod. I mean, that's that's how you make it in this world. In that kind of that kind of realm, yeah, being polarizing is better than you don't want everybody to. You, you want to be loved or hated, yeah, and especially in this type of in the social media realm, you know, you have an attitude like, you know, a, a Carter or a Dave Portnoy. For every one person that loves you, you're gonna have three haters, and the haters still watch you, and the haters still watch you. <laughs> the They're haters the still watch you. <laughs> they're they're boosting your algorithm up by commenting. Yeah, I mean every single time, and you have to really be thick skinned. You know, it, it, you have to be thick skinned. You post something on the internet, and you look at the comments. I don't care what anybody says; those people look at the comments, and you have to be thick skinned in order to take some of the hateful. Yeah crap somebody says yeah you gotta you gotta use that as motivation and know that it, you, you can't let a person derail you uh you can't let those comments bring you down because some you know it's not for everybody some people can't handle that yeah uh like for me dude I, it doesn't bother me like i said dude you could say whatever you want about me and my wife i mean hey don't talk about my kids it's, that should be off of anybody you don't talk to people's kids but like it's one yeah. of those things like, dude, you can't let somebody that does brings no value to your life bring you down. Yeah, yeah. And they're always they're always anonymous. Like they I don't mean, have like their, of course they, they don't put their real but stuff they have, out there. They have terrible life. Man, they have their own issues, and they're just projecting that onto you. Uh, so like, they man, that they they've got the problem, dude. Like, I feel for them because if you have that much hatred in your life towards yourself to bring that out on others, that's really what it is. Yeah, they're yeah. hurting. Yeah, I mean, they're, and there there's a bunch of people out there that are broken, dude. I mean, there's no doubt. So like, it sucks. Like, so snapping back on them does nothing. Like, that's dumb. It doesn't. It doesn't prove anything. It doesn't make you a bigger person. Like, it's just you got to roll with it. We offer them to come on the podcast, and then they delete their account. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so next thing I have was uh, I want to talk about some top moments we've had. For the podcast outside of the studio. Yep. Uh, my number one is probably be Indy 500. Well, uh, I didn't know how bad I wanted to see the Indy 500 until I went there. Oh my gosh. Because I was telling like friends and guests, I'd be friends and like customers of mine, they're like, oh, shit, that's a bucket list thing. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, yeah, I'm excited to go. But I, like, yep. it wasn't ever another thing like, oh man, I got to get there. But yeah. since we've been, I'm like, dude, this was one of the coolest trips ever. And we met a bunch of cool people. It's phenomenal. It's, it's, it, it, yeah. It wasn't on my bucket list, and then it became on my bucket bucket list so, after we did it. Yeah, the cool thing about so one, we met a bunch of the Good Ranchers family. Yep. That we became really good friends with. Yep. Uh, found our travel buddy Carly. Carly. Yeah. Uh, but so we met a bunch of people there. Stephen. We met a, we met a ton of people there. Since then, we also met a bunch of uh different people. Like we became friends with Paige and Jason. Yeah. Uh. Like said, they were cool. Like hang out with them. Like you know, the relationship we built with them as friends past that, uh, it was just really fun. Uh, ben and Corley and them guys and Jermaine, they're just super gracious and hosting. And like man, they they brought us along for this, and it's fun, man. Like, yeah. Did we? I mean, we ate well. What thirty five hundred? I mean, like they really treat us. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was. It's it's an amazing experience. I mean, everything about it was just awesome. Yeah, Indy 500 is definitely one of my top for the year. Uh, 
My next thing, which was we talked about on the podcast, but it was our was Mo Day. Mo Day. Mo. Yep. Mo Amers. We need to get him on the podcast. I would love to get him on. But when we went to Mo Day, me and you, went considered really a, I guess it wasn't considered a, much of a uh, podcast deal, but it was just me and you. Uh, we met him at the Braggy Bomb Suite. Yep. And then I played with him in that celebrity football game for the Texans. And then since then we have kind of we became a friend on you know from there. And then he hooked me and Vaughn up. And then little did we know we saw Dave Chappelle as a surprise <laughs> guest. Yeah. <laughs> Just. <laughs> yeah, I never thought. <laughs> I know. Oh, like and I, Ralph Barbosa. Ralph Barbosa. <laughs> I mean, I had, which I he's had, committed to the pod. He for is committed to the pod. Houston I mean, legend. I have, uh, uh, you know, I've been ro- watching Ralph Barbosa from day one, and I've always thought, like, why is this guy not blowing up? Like, he is absolutely hilarious. His his delivery is phenomenal. Yeah, and here he is blowing up, and we get to meet him on a blow up stage. Dude, and he was just on Rogan this year, mm-hmm. recently, and he's been on Burt Cast. And then I've been talking to him. He's coming into Houston soon, and he said he'd be on our podcast. Oh, man. I'm excited. He, he about said that. he would do it. Like, that's a big get, dude. Because, I mean, especially for us, but Ralph Barbosa is like, dude, you can imagine a conversation we have with Ralph. Oh, it'll be great. <laughs> it'll be funny. It'll, it'll be great. I mean, he's the most chill. Like, <clears throat> he's just, you know, you can tell he's ultimately a good dude. The, the, the stories he told, uh, I'm not going to lie, that was my first time I, I, I knew. I know I've seen the guy before, yeah, but I haven't watched his stand up. I honestly haven't. And I saw him that night, and I knew the names not familiar, but I didn't. I didn't know him. Honestly, I didn't. And he freaking blew me away with his stand up that night. Oh, that's great. And so, and I remember we met. We we sat in separate seats. Yeah. And then after the show, he's like, "Oh, you you were saying how pumped up we were because of Ralph." So I was like, "I didn't I didn't know who he was prior." But then fast forward, we went to the VIP party. We met Ralph at the bar. Yeah. Super cool dude. He started following me back on social media. We've talked since then. Uh, so Ralph has been a been an awesome guy. His special on uh, his special Cowabunga on Netflix. If you haven't seen it yet? Need to check it out. It's it's really funny. Dude, he's great. Uh, <clears throat> another another moment for me was uh, Good Rancher Super Bowl golf tournament. Oh gosh! So let me tell you this quick story. So we go. So okay, we started the podcast twenty twenty two. 2023 January, I'm like, all right, Vaughn, let's let's start. We like we talked about like we're gonna monetize this thing. Let's try to get some sponsors in. So I'm hitting up past people I've done partnerships with, things like that. And one of them was Good Ranch Company. I'm like, I'm gonna hit them up. Boom, boom. You know, send them a message. Like, yeah, we like talk. We do some podcast stuff already. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's meet in person. We actually in Texas was too. Where are you at? We're in Friendsville. Well, shit, we're in League City, 15, 20 minutes from you. Yeah. City so, over. Yeah, literally. So you know, we go meet with them. We sit in there. We're in there 10, 15 minutes, just kind of shooting the shit, talking about yeah. each other, how we started this, blah, blah, blah. Somehow golf comes up. Ben's like, you guys will play golf February 10th? We're like, I guess. I well, love golf. Yeah, yeah like, I'm thinking he's in like Timber Creek. I don't know. Yeah. He's like, all right, uh, we'll, we'll get y'all to, we'll fly y'all to Phoenix. We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> we're like, we're like, we got to figure that. He's like, dude, my son's birthday party that weekend. I got to <laughs> I gotta figure this out. So we're like, we're like, all right, let's see if we can get this figured out. And so uh, we did. Yeah. So they were sponsoring Jay Feely's Foundation uh, Celebrity Golf Tournament the week of the Super Bowl in Phoenix, where the Super Bowl was at. And so we're like, dude, we can't miss this. And so uh, and we went, and what a hell of a time! It was just. Uh, I remember. No, that that's where we met some of the Good Ranch people first. Yeah, I, I remember just being standing at one point and I had this like moment of just like how did this get to this point yeah like it wasn't like we're we've made it it wasn't that but it was like this is just a little vision as to what's to come for the podcast hey I told him early on I said hey buckle up we're gonna we're gonna get in some situations and we have we've we've literally and it's all by saying yes Yep. Because, uh, like I said, when we started this in July of 2022, I was like, dude, we're going to, you know, and it, it's blown up me more than I thought. Like, far as the, the experiences we've had, we've had a ton of experience in a year and a half. Oh, yeah. A lot. Yeah. <clears throat> and and there's just going to get more, more and more opportunity coming our way. 
But that was fun, dude. We played with freaking Charles Woodson, Jay Feely. Yeah. Jeff Darlington. Jeff Darlington. That's another that's another one of our favorite episodes. Jeff it Darlington. Is, man. I was gonna say Jeff Darlington, but you know, he he ghosted us, man. He did ghost us lately. Oh, I know he's, it's football season, I get it. Well, I know, but you texted him way before football season. I know, dude. It's all right. We still love you, Jeff. Yeah, we do. We'll still fight you, motherfucker. <laughs> uh <laughs> so so that was actually a that was a super cool, super cool deal. My plan is next for this year, Magnus, anything we got going forward, do like get you there to rarely where we could take care of one, you're part of it, but two, we get content shot and really do more with that. Like to really have some good, fun content shot around it. And we, you know, like I said, Dave was, this is the team and like we get it. Everybody's involved and, uh, we get you involved in all these perks as well. Uh, while we're on it, one of my favorite moments off camera, or well, we filmed it, but Cajun Ninja cooking over at your house. Cajun Ninja was fun, man. That was an exciting day. That was a good day. I had to go buy cans of propane. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I had to... Dale was not prepared, as you can imagine. No, I was not prepared for... I wasn't prepared for 40 people coming over either. And then the well, electrical box quit working. I had to buy a new TV that day. I had to buy all kind of stuff. I had a breaker yeah. went out. Because that, that, that Palapa, mm-hmm. my breaker actually went out for that Palapa. It fried the TV as well. Didn't know that till that day. So I had to take that TV to get a whole new TV. I had to get all kind of stuff. It was, it was a mess. That was a very fun day, though. But man, man, I popped a lot. It was fire. Yeah. No, man. It was, that was a cool. That was a cool one for sure. Uh, Cajun is always a good time, man. He was. It was cool to get him in, in studio. Uh, that was a fun. I guess in my last one that I can bring up. Uh, was whenever we went and seen uh, Matt Knutson. Yeah, that was a good. That After was... having him on and then going to see his variety show, which was like me and Vaughn said, dude, that, I've seen a bunch of stand-up stuff. That was one of the funniest hours I've ever seen. I mean, there's no bullshit. Like, this guy is that genius. Yeah, it's very, very well done. Very, It's, it's very good. It's very good. <laughs> he was so funny, and man. And to be front row and see him and then like – you know he talked about us in a show and stuff like that that was that was a that was a cool moment yeah yeah he was actually really fun like that was one that i'm trying to think how i got can how do we get connected? through sean right yeah through sean, sean yeah yeah so sean dolan uh past guest from first season he opened up that night for matt and so that's how we knew about matt that's how we got matt on the show prior and so that was a that was a fun one man yeah, any, any any top moments outside of the podcast for you? You know, uh, the tattoo. We got to talk <laughs> about the tattoo. I mean, I think that was a top moment of. You know, once again, I always That's have big. these. I always have these moments in my life where I have to like step back and just be like, you know what? Let's let's make this moment about you for a few seconds. <laughs> and I remember there was a point, it, and I was walking. In between, like the the little studio area where you were at, and I went to the front to get water, and I was like, I never in a million years thought that there would be a man who got my face tattooed on their leg, <laughs> specifically right next to their nuts. <laughs> Sorry, place it is. Yeah, and um, and there I was. There was like this moment of of sheer gratitude and fear. <laughs> and like thoughts, like this is this could. I could single-handedly, um, I could be a cock blocker. Dude. I mean, <laughs> you know, poor, poor Crystal. I mean, I'm sitting here thinking, like, she's got to look at both of us. <laughs> Lucky her. <laughs> Lucky her. <laughs> she, I mean, I mean, there was a lot of, uh, yeah, and then, and then everybody would be like, I got a bunch of texts. Did Dale really do that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he did. He absolutely did. Oh, uh, that was that was a big moment. I saw him in shorts the other day. I was like, I still can't believe that happened. This, yeah. That was a dream. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a it was a great moment. <laughs> you know what, dude? I don't care. I love the I love the the. My only regret is I I wish I got it lower, to where it's seen with every short I wear. Yeah, I don't. I should do it on my calf. <laughs> I mean, it's you. Do do you do you? Dude, I you know what? Would say. I like I like tattoos. I got a bunch of dumbass tattoos that don't mean anything, 
then that's really one that's got a good meaning to it and it's got a story behind it and it's funny and that's on brand that's what i want to do oh like it's one of those things like yeah I, I love it it's a it's a cool tattoo one casey killed it like it looks yeah great uh so that makes it even cooler because it's a really good tattoo I've got some friends going to see him just i mean i've had people hit me up that seen it that want to go to him because i mean he's yeah he's good yeah, no, that was that was a great moment. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, I did I forgot about that I, when I was going through this. I forgot about that moment. Honestly, it's funny that. I, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's hard to remember all the great moments because they're We've all had a great. Lot. I have, you know, and the good thing is, is I have we haven't really had any <clears throat> bad moments, dude. I mean, Magnus one time this year forgot to hit record. Yep, one time about derailed the podcast, but <laughs> yeah. we bounced we, we back. Was, we was shut the, down. What about the two Mevo mess ups? Come on, let's talk about this. Oh yeah, Vaughn. Vaughn really. Who sp- owns the Mevo? Mevo. Me. Okay, so I think the operator or the owner should be the one. Well, you were operating that day. Yeah, you're the operator. But I wasn't the owner. They, I didn't get a manual. Oh, that's true. You didn't Did you give me a manual. You didn't give me a manual. No, it's online though. <laughs> oh, so I gotta go search for that. He was out of minutes. It was out of minutes. <laughs> he he's only got free nights and weekends. Yeah, golly. What'd you think, Magnus? Jeez, he's uh, ungrateful. We've had a ton of good moments, man. We have. We have. This has been a hell of a year. What about the harmonica solo? Where's your song? We'll save for we'll, we'll set up for the second episode of the yeah. season of the because this is this is gonna like okay so this is this is obviously coming out January second. This is January second when you're hearing this. Yep. But this instead of us doing just the way it fell, instead of us doing a best of and a s- season opener, this is kind of all in one. So uh, we'll give you a little grace. So the next episode, fair enough. Episode seventy-seven. Yeah, yeah, because se- Stacy was seventy-five. So episode seventy-seven, it will be we will open with Vonnie the harmonica solo. Dude, you been ready? playing it? Yeah. Okay, good. He's been drawing all over the place, dude. I've been, which means sucking on the harmonica <laughs> world. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I had a. I've played it this week a little. Well, I say a little, kind of a lot, like over an hour. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So, twenty three was a big thing. One of our other, one of my other things I wanted to talk about was our. We had our first like viral clip go viral tiktok uh which was the bro day story from mr steven gillette and that really man that dude that gained us like almost 800 followers on tiktok or more yeah overnight pretty much but it still get views and people save it every day i get i get the alerts yeah and it's uh it's like at over seven hundred thousand views now they're saving it you can you can bookmark it as a favorite oh okay it has all like it like it tells you when people do that so let's just add this to their collection or whatever, and uh, so like this one's been this one this one this one's been bookmarked almost six thousand times. Dang! So over six thousand people have this saved as one of their favorite videos. Yeah, eighty-seven thousand likes, two hundred sixty comments, and six hundred fifty thousand point seven six hundred fifty point seven thousand views. Six hundred fifty thousand views. Yeah. Fifty thousand views. Yeah, Isn't that crazy. It's crazy. So that was our first. Like, man, it's just crazy. It, you know, it's funny. We've had all these big celebrities on. Yeah, we've done all these. We've done TikToks and reels for every episode. Yep. And then we have like we wanted Stephen on. We're like, we got to get Stephen on. He's like, man, I don't know. If, you know, I'm like, dude, no, we need you on. He's super funny, super interesting. And then he's the one that has the viral clip for us. Dude, of course it is. <laughs> that and that's another one. That's another like episode I thoroughly enjoyed. That was a fun episode. Um, Steven's one of those people that I just. I wish you'd been here, Magnus. I like to talk to people like that who yeah. just think who are just so worldly thinkers. Like they're so out of the box. They're just man. He's very smart. Yeah. And uh. He's very wit. Like his takes on things are really funny. Oh, it's great! Like usually, when, like last time we were in Indy, we just sat around and you would ask him, "What do ask you think about this?" <laughs> he's like, oh, <laughs> "I like the idea more than I actually like the thought of." Or he'd say something crazy. That just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my favorite thing that Stephen does, it it catches you off guard the first time, 
first met him at Indy 500. We're talking for a while, blah, 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 blah. And then we go to leave like, hey, man. Uh, hey, Steven, Dale, hey, man, I'm glad to meet you. Glad to be met. That's what he tells you. <laughs> glad to have been met. Glad to have been met. And he shakes your hand and it's like, holy shit, this is the coolest dude ever in my life. Well, you tell him, hey, it's great. It was great seeing you. He said, it's great to be seen. Yeah. <laughs> It's so funny. He's, just a, he's a trip. But he says it like it rolls off the tongue so smooth. You're like, yeah. Holy hell. Yeah. And then finally, you know, he comes on the podcast and says he's got a case of the tism. I'm like, dude, that's it. That's it. Like he's got the perfect amount of he's tism. Got, he's got just the right amount. Like the spectrum <clears throat> that he that, If you're on the spectrum, he's on the great part of the spectrum. Uh, and then, hey, another thing I wanted to put up, which I know it's turned into a good little friendship. Me and him became, we became friends with the podcast. I became friends with him outside of here as well as uh, Trey from the Fay. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know about Trey from the Fay until you texted yeah. You texted me one night, like, dude, we got to get this kid from, we got to get this kid Trey from the Fay from uh, Santa Fe on from American Idol. I'm like, oh, correct. So I looked, I watched that video yep. on YouTube. I was like, holy cow, this guy can sing. He's right here. I remember I messaged him. He read it, didn't say anything for a while. I was like, dude, you got to be kidding me. And then yeah. a couple weeks later, you know, so we finally got him on. He came in, him and his girlfriend, Grace, which now they're engaged. So congratulations. Congrats, congrats to Trey and Grace. But, uh, you know, since then, we've had him on. We had him in with Ad- oh, Adrian Yonde. I forgot about that one. That was, yeah, he was like another good one. That was a good one. So he came in. He, we had Trey as our celebrity, like our guest guest, guest host with us. Yeah. Just because he brought some UFC flair to us. Yeah. He was such a fanboy. So Dude, funny. <laughs> he's, huge. He's wigging out. He's like, huge fanboy. Can't believe him hanging out. Yeah, he held it together pretty well. But, yeah, no, no, he was huge. good. But Trey's, Trey's a cool kid, man. But like I said, I'm hoping he, uh, he's he got his new band. He's got a band put together. They're traveling. Like, yeah. man, I, I really, they just did their first like corporate gig in like Denver. So I'm hoping all the success for this kid, man. I, I really, I really hope he does well. He's too good to not be out there doing what he loves. But uh, like I said, the friendship we've we've gained from then, that's been pretty cool, man. Like I said, we've 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 had a lot of people over the past year that's been a part of the podcast that's been super cool. Uh, that's made this fun for us, and they've all been super nice, and we've kept up with them since they watch and they like our stuff on our podcast yeah. page, which makes it fun, man. Like you know, we're doing something right because people, everybody said, hey, that was the most fun I've had on yeah. the podcast. So. If people are saying that, it's just like it's eventually gonna just keep going to the next level. Yeah, we had a lot. I mean, there's so many guests that we had this, had this year that I'm not not a single one that I think was boring. No, we had both our kids on. We had our kids on. We had the girls on. We had the we had the boys on. That was those those were fun. I seen that clip the other day when I guys were talking about that referee, and I told him tell that referee his mom's a hoe. <laughs> and you're like, don't say yeah, that. don't say that. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I'm trying to keep him straight and narrow. <laughs> You're such a horrible influence. Oh, uh, dude, you put something on Instagram the other day that's like caption this. Yeah, yeah. And I was gonna reply, but I didn't. I, you know, I had so many people message me like, dude, I I got nothing PG to write I, on I, that. There was nothing I could. I put had on buddies there. and like even uh like the, my buddy meme for time, uh, Roderick Lopez. Uh, he's a CrossFit meme guy. He's like, dude, I, I've erased so many different things that have nothing PG to say on this post. I'm like, dude, I left it open for everybody. Yeah, I didn't. But what, some people- <laughs> what I wanted to put was not. You know what's funny? I was showing them. <clears throat> so obviously all those boys, two of them are my godchild. Uh, we were talking about baseball. They all play baseball, obviously. Mm-hmm. They all got their flat bills on, you know. But who you didn't see in the picture was next to me was Jacob Marceau, who one of my best friends, he played uh he was a first round draft pick in 05 yeah. to the Marlins pitcher. So we were talking about their baseball coach, whatever. He's like, Oh yeah. T- ask, ask such, 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 I used to strike him out. They're like, no, no way. And he's like, yeah. I was like, dude, he's played pro baseball. So I was showing them Jacob's baseball cards. His Mar- when he's in the Marlins, like, yeah. you know, that's what, that's what I was actually showing them on the, on the phone. Cause they didn't believe me that uh that he was a professional pitcher you know that's funny but it's funny like all the, it, was, it was a good picture because all these kids are like yeah you never know what i'm showing them oh I know. <laughs> a lot of it went through my head i just i refrained from even saying anything so uh, no, it was, it's been a it's been a phenomenal year yes yeah, so 2024 man what's what's our plan this year we're gonna yeah i just think you know i it's just it's getting 
it's getting bigger. Um, I could see there being a lot of uh, change to kind of how we go about things. I think, you know, after a convert, the call we had yesterday, I mean, this is, you know, we're starting to kind of, I love podcasting, but one of my biggest loves in life is to create, um, you know, obviously business, create, you know, business plans, how these things are going to go about. Yesterday was one of those times when I was like, you know, I, I'm not a celebrity guy. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not somebody who goes and I'm all on the TikTok trends and you know, that yeah. that's just not who I am. But, um, speaking yesterday and talking about how to build this out as a, as a, you know, a large business under Vondale media and, um, that stuff is exciting and it just makes the podcast even more fun because every time we sit behind this mic, it's an, it's an, it's, it's bigger. Yeah. Um, you know, having all the line items that we had talked about and the avenues that we're going with is, it's fun clothing lines. I mean, it's, you know, yep. there's, there's a lot going on. So I'm excited about that. Um, let's see we're gonna we're gonna eclipse the the hundred episode mark which i think is gonna be cool yeah we gotta we gotta think of something big for that we should, and, we should do that on the road somewhere in this year <clears throat> we are going to have the dale not dale podcast comedy showcase and i don't care what anyone says okay let's do it and i need everybody's buy-in y'all are bought in yeah okay so we're gonna do it then on the next item, this for 2024, we say we're going to do something. We're going to do something. Okay. Are we going to do a billboard? Yeah. I still think that'd be fucking funny. It, it's expensive. They are? <laughs> Dude, I, yeah. I, the one off 518 and exit in 45 and 518, it's 10000 a month. <laughs> God, <laughs> dog. Really that much? Yeah. But you can get one off of like Highway 6 in Alvin, and it's like 2200 <laughs> So we're going to do so, we're, we're gonna do something like that. I've got some friends in my hometown that own a billboard company. You, you had told me that. I, I didn't know that. Uh, I mean, that would be great. Yeah. You know, I think it would be funny to have it down here where we live because it, people would be like, y'all are so f stupid. I, that's that's what would be funny about it. Yeah. But, you know, then again, you know, not, it's this isn't some sort of commune. Like, you know, people go travel out. If we get something off of I-10 in Baytown or whatever I mean, it that, is, I mean, that, we got a bunch of people that work out there. That's, that's what I'm saying. That'd be, uh, we need to look at all those options like yeah. that. So <laughs> we'll look at the billboard this year. Uh, I would be, I, yeah, I'm in for a comedy showcase. I think it'd just be another thing that we need to do that uh, saying yes to and make us uncomfortable doing a stand-up bit. And we don't even have to if we don't want to. I mean, I think we should, though. I That's think part of it. I, I think, we, I, 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 hey, I've always told myself, do stuff that makes you uncomfortable. And I do. Yeah. Like, we did the MC and stuff last year. We did it again this year. It was super fun. Uh, I've done another wedding, which I've done a wedding where usually the last few weddings I've done, I've known everybody there, a big bulk of it. Yeah. It's different versus going somewhere not knowing somebody. Whenever they want you to be like, don't you be yourself, but more serious. Like this is like, you right. know, the yeah. first one I did was like, they were young. They wanted to have fun. That's what we did. Yeah. I mean, you remember the script. I mean, I talked about having a safe word and stuff. Like that. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> I mean, but it was funny. <clears throat> it was perfect for that that wedding. Yeah. So uh, I think there's there's more we got to put ourselves out there, and then I think we could probably bag some good people to come in and have fun with that. Yeah. So we got to take advantage of that. You know, another thing I want to do. Magnus got material too. Yeah, he does. We're gonna do a, have a kill Magnus show. Hell yeah! <laughs> Instead of kill Tony. Another thing I want murder to, murder Magnus show is the name of it. Another thing I want to do is uh, <laughs> I want to do some philanthropy work. 
Okay. Get the get the pod out there. Help the community. Let's do it. We need to do that. What can we do? It's it's, it's very fulfilling to do that stuff. I'm in. Um. We could. There's a million things we could do. I haven't really thought about it yet, but. Um. <laughs> Something with that's the great animals or people. That's the great thing. No, Vaughn's gonna people. volunteer at d- daycare. <laughs> okay, no, we're not doing that. Um, <laughs> you have to have a license for that. I don't. Um, oh, you, you can it. watch my kids without a license. No, oh, no, perfect. You're not, they're not allowed. We're gonna set um, GoPros up in your house and just <laughs> <laughs> just close up of Vaughn's face the entire time. It's all it's all no, sheer terror. Oh, it is. I just wouldn't even do it. Um, yeah, I mean that's you know it's a great thing. You 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 walk around this world and open your eyes, and there are people that need. And I think the Dale Not Dale podcast would could help. Let's do it. I gotta find something y'all are good at. Y'all want to build some houses for somebody? Hell yeah. Okay. Clean the gutters. I could do that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I could do that. Too. I'm scared of heights, so I'll be on the I'll I'll be a uh, the foreman of the job. Um, yeah, I think we need to do a little philanthropy action. Um, maybe some fundraising, not for us, but for somebody else. Let's do it. Um, what about that Pilates class? You know, are we going to do yeah, that? We're, I've we're already, I'll, I'll talk to Danielle about that. Okay. Danielle uh, told Stacey, she got me to tell Stacey to email her so they can start talking about that. Yeah. Uh, no, I think we need to do something. Maybe we need to figure out some kind of charity we could, uh, do team, something with. Team up with. I think yeah. it'd be a great thing. Because we could do some cool stuff and have that attached to it. That yeah. would make it fun. Yeah. Especially the, the 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 comedy thing. There's all kinds of stuff we could do where that's the that's yeah. the underwriter for it. Like that's the where the money's going. Right, yeah. I think that'd be great. We can put some of the proceeds from the from the Dale Not Dale Pom- comedy showcase. Yep. Well no, it'd be it'd be a fun way to sell tickets because one is going to that. And yeah. Then, yeah. Okay. Um I have a charity that I currently work with that I absolutely 100% support and uh, love to do something for them. It's called the Grateful Americans Charity. <clears throat> Helps uh, veterans of wars um, who are suicidal. Okay. And uh, gives them the proper tools they need to be, you know. Are they a Texas-based one? Put back into this. Yes, they are. Okay. Yeah. I remember you okay, talking about that one. Um, it's, Yeah. Your company does stuff for them too, right? We do, Vice yeah. Says, no. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's it's a it's a great cause. Um, Dude, we need to eventually have a Dale and Idell podcast golf tournament. That's a lot that goes into that. We do. There is a lot that goes into that. That's just on our vision board. Maybe and I don't year. even know how to. I, I, I wouldn't even know how to. I mean, I've known people that do them, so we could probably, we could get people involved to help. It's more so like getting the sponsors involved, like you know, getting sponsorships and stuff. Yeah. Um, I see Fidus Construction right there. Well, I know a lot of people in the industry. I mean, there's a lot of things we could do. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Um, I'm just thinking of ways to really make this bigger. Yeah. Uh, Any way we get our name out there would be good. Yeah. And to attach ourselves to things. Yes. So yeah, let's be this for this year, man. I'm excited about it. <clears throat> you know, I'm 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 working on kind of I I I, I kind of want a, a full blown studio. Okay. In some in some form or fashion, um, soundproofing all that stuff. Yeah. So that's something I've been tossing in my head. How that's gonna work. Um, we'll see. Okay. Yeah. I think along with the Vonda media stuff we were talking about, that could play into that far as if we were to take on some new podcast people. Yeah. And we have a space mm-hmm. to where, mm-hmm. you know, you got my thinking, uh, yeah, be fun. Which brings me into the other point of buying real estate, which I would want to essentially buy commercial real estate and then sell it and then rent it to myself with through, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, let's look at that. So, yeah. We'll see. Dude. 
Tinless. I'm excited, dude. You ready, Magnus? I'm ready. You ready to be a part of this? I'm strapped in. Maybe make a uh, another thing I'm, we've talked about before is a uh, a mobile unit. Mm-hmm. Have ourselves a little Dale Not Dale podcast bus. Make it all the way to Dale, Minnesota. Was it's it? still in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> it's still in Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> you dope. It's north. It's it, north, yeah, it's yeah. North, of, north of Houston, it's anywhere. Yeah. Wisconsin, that's, Wisconsin's one of my favorite states. I've never been. It's beautiful. They do have a lot of good food. Those, great people. Yeah. Great Food's food. Good. Fried, oh, cheese, great. fried cheese oh curds. God. Oh, yeah. I love fried curds. It's, they're just great people. Uh, what's your beef for this week, man? Dude, I got a beef I've been thinking about. Um, oh, I think you mentioned this at dinner. Yeah. I. You know, in... And here's my beef. Ozempic. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, for those it's that not don't with know, Ozempic, though. which you do know, it's, it's not with Ozempic, it's, the company. It's it's it's, it's the pr- the premise of it. It's you know the the Juvo, the the Ozempic, the semaglutide, all that. Okay. So here's the thing. Listen, people found a hack. They found a hack. Yep. What they did was is they found a hack in order to lose weight without with minimal effort. And you know what? It works. Okay, do it. If that's what you want to do, do it. Here's my beef. Do not lie about it. I had a situation in which I was uh, put in where I was, I said, you know, hey, you're looking great. What are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm just starting to eat right. And, you know, and it dawned on me that that's not what you did. You didn't do that. I know you well enough to know that that's not what you did. You took the shot. Don't lie to me. Just tell me, hey, listen, I, I started taking Ozempic. And the thing about it is that bothers me the most is it is insecurity that somebody would not tell you that, hey, I started taking a shot. Because what they're doing is, is they – don't want to admit they took the easy route. Yeah, people don't use twenty five pounds in a month. No, they don't. It's, just, it's, it's not even. It's not even. That's not only how healthy that is either, though. I mean, they don't want. They don't want to tell you that they took the easy route, and they want to act like this big facade that is. It's untrue. It's un. It's it's untrue. Yeah. Okay. I have. I'm gonna take steroids. I tell people. I have anxiety. I take anxiety medicine. I don't go tell people, well, I've been doing a lot of meditation and I've been, you know, really trying to, you know, get in tune with my body. No, I take a pill. It's it's so much easier. If I'm overweight and I want to lose weight and I'm lazy, I'm going to take Ozempic. <laughs> like that's, that is what I, it I, is. I, I, it, it bugs me too. I know. I mean, everybody's got their own way of handling it, but like, but don't brag about, oh yeah, I've just, I've been doing this and ch- lost weight. Like new. You could eat right and exercise, and you could not lose twenty five pounds a month, unless you're morbidly obese. Yeah, and you could, but th- that don't happen. Yeah, you it should doesn't. only be able to lose like one or two pounds a week, max. Dude, when I was on, when I was with my nutritionist two years ago, whenever I started like dialing in my thing, I was eating more, and I was losing a, a pound, pound and a half a week while I was eating more, just because you know getting your body right. Uh, that's very small changes. And that's for me working out, eating, counting my macros. And I had some weight to lose. Like, not a lot, but I had, yeah. some, I had some body fat and stuff to lose that I could. And it's it's like, that shit, it's, it's hard. But like I said, if, if the easy way out is definitely this stuff. But like, dude, don't be ashamed of it. If you're going to do it, just do it. it yes. gives, a, gives a fuck. Like, why, why, uh, why lie about it? And make it seem like, whoa, do you have you changed anything in your way? No, no, do no, just, just, just lost some weight. Just lost. No, you didn't. You don't just lose twenty five pounds. I mean, I think, don't right, don't people. make a situation of insecurity also prove to be a liar. Like, don't lie about this stuff. Yeah, I'd be like, dude, damn, good for you, bro. Like, that's what you take it for. Like, I I, I don't know. You shouldn't be ashamed of it. If you're ashamed of, it, don't do it. Yeah. At all. That's like going to get a gastric bypass in Mexico and coming back like, oh yeah, I lost a hundred pounds and. Three months. Yeah. What happened? Don't know what happened. Start drinking and sure. <laughs> Eating less. <laughs> Fuck, dude. No. Yeah. yeah dude, that's just, that just bothers it me. It shouldn't bother us, but it, it is a bothersome thing. It does. It bothers me too. Because you're like, come on, man. Like, dude, just. Yeah. 
and then to try to hide it like yeah know, to hide it is it's just it's, it's catty it's just this ugh. Ugh. get over it <laughs> why does my face look good because i use yo pretty boy dude yo pretty boy i look a lot younger i had a shave dude i hate shaving did you get botox recently i did you're without wrinkles whenever uh jacob sam came down for a, hot, a christmas party mm-hmm. she brought some christmas party my ranch christmas party oh she so before they came in that day the saturday and then that sunday morning like well, she brought stuff in and she just shot you up she got us hooked up well that's good i don't need it anymore <laughs> Thank I you. do. I tell you what, the yo pretty boy stuff does make my face my face feel really good, dude. It does. I have, it might be a placebo effect, but I put it on at night too. I put it on the morning, I put it on at night. I feel uh, this is this is so off the cuff here. It makes me feel like comfortable, and I can fall asleep faster. Dude, you've been taking a pill. Quit acting like that. You're lying. No, that's not true. You're, that pill stopped working. Is there any? Have they found any negative side effects to Ozempic that's going to happen for people? <clears throat> like I mean, long term? So, is there? No, you, I mean, I, I don't. I, nobody's can tell, but Ozempic's been around for many, many, many years. I, I get it. For I had only heard about it whenever diabetics. whenever Jonah Hill took it. Yeah, that was the first time. That's I heard what about he it. took. Yeah, I mean, it's been Gosh. around for many years. Who so. found out the hack? Who found out that was a thing? Well, or when? Well, I, I I think what it was is the, probably the health industry of you know looking good. Um, you know, it's just they used it to regulate people with diabetes and things yeah, like that. And then now they're just saying, oh, you know what? You give them more of it, they lose weight. So I think that's just what's kind of what's going on. I don't know. You want to get on it? <laughs> I don't I'm the only know. one. I'm the only one that needs it. Would you take it? Yeah, y'all fund it. I'll pay. I don't. Yeah, I don't have normal insurance. So if it's through insurance, you can't get it through insurance. Yeah, you can't. You gotta. You gotta just buy it. Y'all pay for it. I'll do it. And we'll split the settlement whenever we found out it causes cancer. You or got something. Me, me, Sophia, the now. <laughs> Wait, we fund it. Yeah, y'all you, pay for it. I'll take it. Oh, that's real we fair. do. Hey, are we gonna do this? Magnus makeover? We are going to do it. Are you down, Magnus? Mm-hmm. We're I gonna... just need to lose like 20 more pounds and then no. we can do the makeover. Makeover is, no. It's one month of Ozempic. No. 20 pounds. Uh, no. You don't want to lose all your, you don't want to change all your clothes. Oh, yeah. They just, well, I've noticed like I have lost some weight. It sucks being like thinner. Like you don't have as much I'll fat be honest, man, in the you, winter. You do, you do look a lot better. Since you started since with Since you started with us. Yeah. And I don't know if that's that you finally have some happiness in your life. <laughs> not, not. I, I don't know. I do laugh more uh, yeah. around y'all. And, you know, I think for 2024, what I want for you, Magnus, is I want for you to be on a normal sleep schedule. Semi-normal, at least. I'm not on a normal one, but semi-normal. Can we, can we say bed by midnight? No way. No. That's when I start playing Fortnite. So we had dinner the other night with his wife. Jesus. So we had our Christmas party, our D&D pie Christmas party. And Chelsea's like, dude, the other night I didn't feel well. Kids weren't listening to me. And this jackass Magnus is in our bedroom with headphones on playing Fortnite with his brother till 6 in the morning. How does that make you feel? How many kills did you get? That's all I'm curious. Did y'all win any battle I, royales? I, dude, I got a bunch of Crown Vicks. Dude. <laughs> Did you get any? Uh... Dude, I got four medallions last night. It was be- I took screenshots. So I'll show y'all later. <laughs> Best game ever. I mean, that's great. Please show it. Bond uh, can't wait. Oh god. <laughs> so I, you know, I for 2024, I want this to be your year. To get a hundred crown. Vic- no, victories no, I don't. And battle hey, royale. Hey, I don't give a shit no about your video games. Uh, hey, we're gonna make Magnus. We're gonna do. You're gonna be GQ, bro. We're gonna get you. Where should we bring him? Sunny, but she don't do beards. I want to bring like to to L- lose. Lose. I'll bring him to Philip. Okay, I'm gonna get Philip. Okay, Philip's awesome. We're gonna get you a nice haircut. We're gonna clean your beard up. We're gonna look you, and then we're gonna go get you. And we're gonna bring him to the mall, get him dressed. We're gonna style you, and we're gonna make a whole little episode out of it. You down? Let's do it. And then I'm gonna get somebody to spray tan you. 
Oh yeah, well, I got I got a buddy. Oh, I know you do. Hey pervert. But I want it to be a you dude. Wanna, you want to apply the the spray tan? It'd be a dude. No, oh. it, I want it to be a dude, a hairy dude. Oh, we gotta have. He's fine. Gotta take one to no one. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll get your With those hairy arms. Hey, we'll get your arms waxed. Not necessary. What? Okay. I have a, I have a beef for this week. Okay, what is it? And you're probably going to start seeing this because of New Year. <clears throat> new Year, new new me, new people. New Year, new meat. Uh, well, people announcing that they're getting off social media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That drives me crazy. Yeah. Hey, guys, so you know, man, I'm taking a social media break. And, but I'm like, why the why, why tell people? Unfollow. It's for attention. <laughs> yeah. It's for attention to get to let people know you're getting off social media. Like, dude, it's not like you're so much better than anybody. Like, yeah. Why do that? It bugs me. You don't see it because you're on Facebook, but you see people on Facebook that do it. Yeah. All right. So that's how many guys I'm taking a, I'm going to purge through my friends list or I'm getting rid of this or I'm wiping these people off. You see this, you made the cut or I'm taking a break <laughs> off social media for a while. Dude, that shit drives me nuts. Is there a lot Who of people? A lot of people are doing that. No, I've had, people I've do had a it bunch through. of family that does that, and then I'm like talking to them about stuff. Oh, I didn't know about that. I'm not on Facebook right now. I'm like, well, you're, some people you're uninformed. Not, that's another beef. People think all stuff on Facebook is the gospel. Well, it's just like, hey, did you hear about this person had a kid? And it's like, no, I'm not on Facebook. We, you're bragging about not knowing about what's going on in people's lives. It's horrible. Yeah, but you're talking I, about me. No, no, no I just specifically hate, I'm talking about my. I hate people sister, that just but. that. Don't make an announcement. Like, what are you making the announcement for? For people like, oh man, I wish I could do that. Grandstanding. Or, yeah, that it's so stupid. Insecurity. That, it that, all boils down to insecurity. Yeah. People. We a lot of insecure people think that they're a bigger part of somebody else's life than they really are. Yeah. Like, dude, if you want to take a break, take a break. Why I tell people? Yeah. I mean, I've been on a break. But, for but, but, years but you have to tell people like that's just it makes it so cringy that you gotta say tell people that you're taking a break from something like oh fuck okay I'm gonna miss you anyway I would've known you took a break if I didn't you would've posted this <laughs> I, I didn't even know we were friends <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah thanks for reminding me how the hell are you <laughs> oh man yeah but that, that bugs the shit out of me man I don't know why it does alright I just wanna let everybody know that I'm gonna be starting an Instagram in 2024 Lonnie is. You're doing the opposite of what he just said. <laughs> no, so I told him, we were talking about I said, we didn't make Vaughn one. Uh, to where we can have stuff tagged with Instagram, stuff like that for socials. And, and I need as many pictures of you in your modeling days as possible on yeah, there. Yeah. That's all it's going to be. <laughs> Why don't we just do a new photo shoot? Let's do it. A nude photo shoot? A new. Magnus, how do you feel about making a Magnus Instagram page? Why don't we just change your, your character one? Why don't you just because it's oh, made to go multimedia? Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Mm. I don't know. To be determined. I don't want to sit here and. I've watch got like five out. Instagram pages I've managed. I got. I got to go through the thing and. That's too many for me. Let that two more. I don't multitask well. I'm like Vaughn. I can't multitask. Okay. Are you ready for my beef? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Just, God damn it. Yeah. So the other day I was at the Galleria and. Were you down, looking for more Gucci shoes? I got no. I was, I was just walking around advertising for Rain. Okay, done. So I'm going down the escalator, and people just crowd the escalator and stand still. And there's plenty of room to stand on the right side and let people pass on the left, just like on the road. Why do people walk? Down, I don't walk on the escalator. Some people have places to go. The escalators are. I mean, that's like a minute of your life that you could cut down to thirty seconds if that's you could just be walk right there. You're an idiot. No, people who block, people who are trying to walk. Have y'all ever been to Europe? In Europeans, they all stand to the right of the escalator, and they let people pass on the left. Very well, leave considerate. our country, then, dude. I'm, a, hey, I'm an American. You know, you know those little <laughs> just, walkways that they have at airports. Yeah, I get that. That's, and it's and there's a sign right yeah. before you get on it. Stand on the right, walk on the left. Exactly. And I'm about to generalize, and I'm going to do it. The same type of people stand on the left and give zero shits and they know damn good and well they're just being jackasses they're just being jackasses i don't think about that on an escalator though because that's just a different escalator i don't think about it so much well, but 
it's it's the same exact principle of just being considerate. But most people don't walk down escalators. That's the th- whole thing. I, I never do. I'm in a rush for everything. You know, I get on there and I'll yeah, I ride my thing. I don't ever do it. And the, the width of it is kind of small, and that's the reason yeah. why. Yeah. But on those walk paths in the airport. Oh, that, that would. Oh, I, I, and I say the, like, the the worst shit to people as I'm passing them too, <laughs> like I, I like it, it drives me insane that people do that and they do it on purpose no. or the, or they're so buried in their damn phone mm-hmm. that they don't look at the sign stand on the right walk on the left and they got all their luggage spread out so nobody can pass oh in yeah. every single and their stupid little snotty little ass kids sitting there just like hey man it's, yeah, come right now. <laughs> I just can't stand it. So I will pass them every time and I'll be like I'll be like stand on the right, walk on the left. And then they're just like <laughs> <laughs> And like I know that that's hateful and it shouldn't bother me but it does. See we both agree. That's a different there's two different things. They're very similar. No they're not. They're very similar. No they're not. People don't walk moving walkways, escalators is just orientation. No. That is not made. That's made for walking on. Escalator is made to get you down safely. Stairs, you walk down stairs. But they're moving stairs. Moving the stairs. nuts. It's a moving sidewalk. Just to throw a wrench in this whole thing, I'm going to start running up the down escalator. Do it. Do it. From now on. You can be winded. You don't work out. You'll be so winded. Dude, I'm so, so <laughs> tired of hearing that. <laughs> well, you don't. I actually have do I have pretty good cardiovasculars. Okay, good. It's gotten much better. Okay, good. Riding good. the exercise bike. I have been. I thought that's for sale. It is. Hey, bites? Uh, I don't I don't even I mean it's for sale. I don't know if it's posted, <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> I just, I, it's not it's mine. A, I don't really want to deal with it. It's a garage sale. You just don't have it for time. No, I think I think I seen it on my CrossFit page. Did you? I think Rebecca posted it like, hey, for friends selling this. Never used. Really? Nobody bid on it? How much is it for? It wasn't a bid. She, she just posted, hey, I posted this for anybody wants it. I never looked to see if somebody said anything on it. But yeah, I, re- like, I remember saying, I was like, that's a bike from Vaughn's house. Somebody had asked about it and said that they wanted to pay $300. And I was like, no, no, we're not doing that for $300. Magnus, we're going to put you on this set of Ozempic. Yeah. Do you have to stay on it for a long time? Ozempic? Mm-hmm. I mean, no. you just do it once or twice. No. So my friend, my friend saying months. that my friends, no, it depends. My friend saying that owns, uh, Jacob's wife that owns access urgent care in Lake Charles. Mm-hmm. They do the shots. I think she says it's like 80 bucks an injection and uh once a week or... yeah but she said that some people will come in and do it like oh hey i got a hol- i got a holiday party coming up so they'll come in like a few weeks month before take the shot lose some weight boom do your party and then they come back for different events like hey i want to lose a little bit of, i want to lose a few pounds yeah for this blah 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 it's cheaper just to purge I don't know, man. Quicker. Do the shot. I mean, no. I mean, just make yourself throw up a lot. Doesn't that rot your teeth like they always say? It does, yeah. It's very acidic. That's why you got to get fake teeth. Dude, I'm getting a grill. Like a iced out grill? Yeah. Hell yeah. Johnny Dang. Get Get your teeth froze. What you looking at, Magnus? The side effects for Ozempic. I'm not taking it. What are they? Possible thyroid tumors, including cancer. So I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> have you ever seen? What else? Have you ever seen the, the side effects of aspirin? Possible thyroid cancer and tumors. Why don't you? Why don't you just look at the the aspirin. good parts of it? The side effects, what that is, all that does is just save them from lawsuits. Well, then, um, I'm only taking it for the lawsuit. Hey, you have any, you have any unsolicited advice this week? <laughs> it's not directed towards me. Yeah. <laughs> this is unsolicited advice by the boys. It's presented by Yo Pretty Boy. Take it away, Vaughn. Guys, when y'all take vaccines every year... 
flu vaccines, stop. I never, t- I never took a flu shot. It, 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 it drives me insane. Why? Because people get a flu shot every freaking year, and those are the same people that are always complaining about getting the damn flu. True. Quit doing it. It's only good for it. one strain or whatever. Quit doing it. You're, they, you're, they, I heard they guess on what the strain will be. Yeah, they, they guess on like six strains, and there's 1,500 strains. Like, the math ain't mathing. Stop doing it. I, it's ridiculous. And that was your unsolicited advice for the, from the boys, sponsored by Yo Pretty Boy. I like it. That was fresh. <laughs> that was fresh. Dude, nice. we're, about to have a, we're about to have a revival up in here. Dude, I'm telling you. It's a revival moment with Yo Pretty Boy. I like it. Dude, I want to make a rap song for Yo Pretty Boy. Let's do it. I think it'd be funny. Like a whole rap video. Yo Pretty Boy. In the mother house. <sighs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> All right. So, hey, this has been a good episode, man. We recap the year. Top moments. We had a lot more. Trust me, if we left you out. Sorry, brother. We love you. We appreciate everybody. Uh, 2024. It's going to be a big year. We're going to have some new guests on. Uh, we'll do a bunch of solos. I feel like we just, we're going to cut it up. Make sure we got the Magnus here. Yeah. We got a lot of things coming from Vondell Media. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I'm going to have Crystal on the next episode. Okay. She even want to get in, but I think we could talk about some new stuff we have going on. Yeah. And she will not be using auto tune. <clears throat> okay. It's going to be a real voice. No auto tune. She's going to sing again, but me and Crystal have something we're going to announce. Uh, we'll have her in. I think it'd be a good time because she wants to come back on anyway, so we can talk about that. Plus, it's always fun to pick on her. Yeah. And we can hear her singing. Yeah, we got we got a lot of good stuff coming up for everybody. I do. Um, I feel like I think this is gonna be our year. We got a good team. Yeah. Move on the Magnus Vito. And if anybody's asking, yes, we do pay Magnus. <laughs> Golly, <laughs> he's got this thing that he's going on social media saying, "Oh, I do that shit for free." <laughs> we pay him. Uh. A lot of it's IOUs, but yeah, like not, it's, it's, not just, like, it's just as good as cash. Yeah, it's just as good as cash. I mean, look, dude, look, look. I, I just gave you thirteen hats. I mean, if that's not pay, if that's not payment, I don't know what is. Can you write up the value of those, dude? Those are four hundred dollars hats. Yeah, I thought so. Each and that bag's like a hundred. Oh, that's easily. Thousand. That yeah. I mean, that's a cooler. What kind bag. of bag is that? Yeah, a cooler it's bag. A cooler bag. Oh, thousand. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Uh, yeah. So. Bunch of good stuff coming this year. Thanks for being a part of 2023. 2024 is here. Uh, new year, new us. Me and Vaughn. Same us. Good new ranchers. Year. New year, new meat. Yes. Yo, pretty boy. New year, new faces. Yes. Yeah. Dude, it's going to be a good year. See you later, 2023, and welcome, 2024. Welcome to the 2024 season of... Season three, the pod fellas, Dale Vaughn Magnus. Get it? On the podcast, we chillin' zest. Uncle Dale Vaughn Magnus, yeah, we the best. Uh-huh. Magnus in the cut, no shirt in sight. Spitting truth and jokes, yeah, we keep it tight. Uncle Dale's wisdom, dropping like gems. With Vaughn's quick wit, we them boys, yeah, we them. In our zone, we stay laughing to a new feet. Good ranches meet, bring them good eats. We stay swinging, no words never bland. Podcast kings on the mic, yeah, we grand. From the heart and the soul, our stories unfold. Raw and real, yeah, our tales is gold. Cause we tipping on four bowls, wrapped in four bowls. Podcast too ill, Magnus take off his clothes. Good ranches meet, always bring heat to feast. Uncle Dale Vaughn, Magnus, we on the beat. Cause we tipping on four bowls, wrapped in four bowls. Podcast too ill, Magnus take off his clothes. Good ranches meet, always bring heat to feast. Uncle Dale Vaughn, Magnus, we on the beat.